Good evening, Captains. Salisto here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Jervis replay for you. Uh, Philip Vian is the commander, as you saw at the beginning, and I have him specialized to be more than a gunboat than a stealth torpedo boat, but today the emphasis is going to be on the torpedoes. More on that later. Uh, we have a domination match. We're on northern waters. Uh, I'm in the division with a friend in the Boise, and two of my other friends are in a division on the red team, one in the King George V, the other in a Belfast. When all four of us are online, we kind of like to have a little series competition where we rotate teammates and uh, play against each other and uh, try and get in the same games. Uh, if you've ever watched a streamer, uh, usually they call it the stream sniping or sync dropping. And uh, when we're on separate teams, we keep track of wins and losses. And uh, so far, my team is 7-1. and one. Anyway, back to the action. Uh, we've decided, since there's two destroyers, that we're going to scout the middle uh, really hard to see what we can spot. Because information is one of the most important services that a destroyer can provide for their team. And that's what we're doing right now. We're providing a bunch of information for our team on the direction of enemies. You'll see so many people have been spotted. It looks like the enemy battleships that were in the east are heading west to join their team. And the only thing going into sea is an Algerie. Well, all right then. So since uh, we're one of two destroyers and our other destroyer is going to A... Uh, will be responsible for C, and the enemy Turpitz has decided that he didn't really like the way that my friend in the Boise was looking at him, so he had him deleted. Down a cruiser, about two minutes into the match or so, that's not really that good. So, uh, we're going to hopefully get some torpedoes in the water at these battleships as they pass to join the rest of their team in the west. Um, if battleships are going to join their team like this, uh, they're probably going to try and get there as quick as possible. So it's less likely that they're going to make drastic changes to course and speed. So torpedoes fired at these kind of targets are generally the higher probability targets. So the Algerie in C is uh, about halfway through capping it, so we're going to enter the zone and stop the capture progress because the game can be won on points. And you'll notice as soon as he sees his capture progress is being halted, he launches a plane. Hey, probably a destroyer, because he doesn't see anyone anywhere close to being able to cap that zone, or contest it, I should say. So he's going to spot me. He's sitting there behind an island. That's great. We're going to fire at him. Uh, accidentally kill the Nagato there. He's done. Didn't change course and speed. Ate a giant torpedo sandwich. So we're going to get a few free shots away at the Algerie. Uh, still spotted by his plane, but that's all right because he's behind a rock. So we're just going to find our own little place to hide for now. Uh, the Algerie is going to back out from behind his uh, hiding place there so he can engage us. Probably a smart thing to do is he, on his first salvo, removes about a third of our hit points. So we're going to automatically uh, put the smoke screen up. Uh, we were closer to the rock than I realized. That's okay. We're going to let our detection go back to normal. He's still within our detection range, but he is starting to go forward behind the island because I have Fiji with him, so he can't back out too much. One of his secondaries catches us on the tail. That's all right. Uh, we now have help from the Fiji and the cap, so we're going to start to turn in to go back and re-engage him, help the Fiji, and I run aground because I am potato at steering. Uh, it's the only time I actually run aground, I think, in this uh, replay, but it's pretty fairly common to see me uh, not paying extreme attention to where I'm going on the mini-map. For whatever reason, I'm constantly focused on where the red ships are and not quite the little specks of islands that I could run into and kill me. It's important in a destroyer that you do pay attention to that stuff because it could spell your demise if you end up spotted there because there's nothing better than a spotted destroyer that is beached himself. So we're just going to litter the entire area over here with torpedoes. Uh, we started before the Algerie got chunked by one of our battleships, but that's okay because we want to confirm the kill. If one of our torpedoes doesn't get him, uh, one of our friendlies will, either the Fiji or our battleship that we have with us. I believe it's a Vladivostok. So we're going to start headed towards A a while to assist our friendlies with the rest of the red team. Uh, there you go, the Vladivostok does get the kill on the Algerie, that's good. So, as we head over to A, we're going to constantly look around, see where the enemy is. We know that we're going to need help in A. Uh, oh, uh, looks like 
our friendly destroyer, torpedoed the enemy destroyer, so that's good for us. Uh, we have two destroyers left. Red team has none. Uh, normally, at least in my experience, the team with destroyers left is the team that generally wins, especially in these games where you have capture points to contest. Um, oh, there's my friend in his Belfast from earlier. Uh, I know he has radar, so it's very important to get out of radar range in case he pops it. So we're going to try and get out of 8 kilometer range. Uh, he looks like he's kind of sticking behind that island. Uh, torpedo indicator says he's turning away, probably going back to rejoin his friend in the King George V. So nothing we can really do about them. On to the Monarch, the Leone, and the York over here. Uh, we take a look at who the King George V is. Yep, that's our friend in the King George V. Back to the Monarch. Look at the torpedo track indicator. He's headed into A, probably try to defend that for the rest of our team, maybe get some cover. So we're going to wait for our torpedoes to reload here. Got about six seconds left on the reload. Uh, back to guns. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Back to the torpedoes. Uh, so we're going to just start launching some torpedoes there. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, hopefully one of those will hit. We probably only need one or two to hit, so don't need to launch both of them. We're going to hopefully have some torpedoes left to fire at someone else if we need to. I'm going to once again miss the island on the mini-map, so we're going to have to turn the wrong way to turn around. So that's going to cost us a little bit of time, but that's okay. It does give us a opportunity to watch the torpedoes sail towards the Monarch. Our team's doing some damage to him. Are our torpedoes going to have time to get there? Looks like it. Yep, he's pretty much done. There's the torpedo hit, kill number two. And we're glad we didn't fire the other set, because now we still have that. We don't have to wait for that over minute long reload with this particular build. Uh, Turpitz goes down. Uh, friendly Icarus avenged my friend in the Boise after that naughty, naughty thing he did. So now we're hopefully going to get a torpedo strike off against this Leon or the York as they try and head into A. Let's see what we're doing. I'm going to mess around with the torpedo track there. Still getting used to the control pattern that I have set up. And there's some torpedoes out. We're going to get them all five of them off before we get past this island. Hopefully they're going to hit. Spoiler alert, they're not. So now that I know that they are engaged with my enemy team to the south, I can have some fun with my friends. So my friend is in the Belfast. That's probably him in the smoke screen with the shots coming out. That's my friend in the King George V, and we're going to start hunting. Uh, the Leon goes down. Uh, I think the York is going to be soon to follow. He doesn't have many hit points. Oh, the Leon doesn't go down. Leon kills someone, but he doesn't have more hit points left. There goes the York. Uh, Leon's sailing away. My torpedoes would have never hit him, but that's okay. I'm going to head down to A to start capping it, and then I think better of it. And you know what? There's no one left, so I don't want to let them know where I am, uh, mainly because I can hear them chattering back and forth because we're in the same party chat, and my friend in the King George V, he is a little scared of destroyers. He's primarily a battleship player, so you can't really blame him, but for the last about five minutes, he's been doing nothing but saying that uh, 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 Mount Man's out there and his destroyer. We gotta go get him. We gotta go get him. And my friend in the Belfast is saying, I'm with you. I'm with you. We're here. Don't worry. I have my tools. We, I'll protect you from him. So I kind of chuckle to myself as I begin to close. Uh, we need to make sure that we stay eight kilometers away from the Belfast because if he's spotted, he knows that I could be with his in his radar range. Um, but we're not yet. So we're going to stay around nine kilometers. And then he decides that I am probably to the east of his battleship, so he's going to turn out and uh, kind of screen him a little bit to the east. Little does he know I'm in the west, so while I'm 8 kilometers from my target and destroyer and the battleship well within torpedo range, my friend at the Belfast is 9.5 kilometers away from me. He really couldn't have known that I was there, so 5 torpedoes out against the King George. Hey, other torpedoes are off a reload. Let's just send those down there as well, see what happens. It's about this time in uh, party chat that my friend of the battleship says, at this rate, he's going to kill me, and then after I'm dead, you're going to find him. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you think that prediction's going to come true or not? Let's wait and find out. He doesn't look like he's changing any speed. In the party chat, I inform him that he is to catch 
he says what? One, two, three, four and five. Devastating strike. There he goes. I'm going to run aground because I'm a total potato. And just as predicted, there's the radar. Finds me. He has no health left. He's the last one left. He successfully did his job. Too little, too late. I knock out a gun. He fires back. For some reason, I put up a smoke screen, even though I know it's radar. He goes down. That is that, ladies and gentlemen. And let's take a look at the results. 2,723 base experience, 111,750 damage, 3 kills, 2 devastating strikes, and 2 quite salty friends. <laughs> well, that's that I suppose. I genuinely hope you enjoyed our time together today. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. And if you'd like to let me know what you want to see on the channel going forward, leave a comment in the comments section. If you like the video so much that you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and never miss a video. We'd love to have you in the fleet. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.